Well, we just celebrated an odd thing. I, I think that raised some eyebrows. The, uh, this, is what, this is where I am in my station in life. You know, we, I was just asking you, you had seen the movie that wound up winning Best Picture last night, Nomadland. Only person I know who has seen it. Yeah. And you were, I was saying, where did you watch it on? And, and he couldn't remember. It's Hulu is where he watched it. And Dave said, I don't even know where things come from these days. They're just on my TV. But then he said, but I do know that we've got something, Handmaid's Tale, coming up this week. I'll be damn sure watching that. And I was like, whoo! Right. <laughs> Yeah. If there yeah. if weren't the uh, the COVID plexiglass in here, you two would have high five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Under Let's, his eye, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into this. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> These young, fertile women being held against their will. <laughs> Blessed day, MFR. <laughs> Blessed day. Blessed. Mm-hmm. Under his eye. Under his eye. Yes. Strangest pop culture exchange ever. <laughs> Move over, Angels. Yeah. There's some new handmaids in town. <laughs> yes. Charlie's yeah. go to the Angels goes to the back burner. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Until he burns couple, through couple the handmaids. Got to have to burn through. For I a forget couple. how they put those out. Are they? Did they put them out in one big week clump? by week? Yeah, they clump. Oh. No, they clump them. Don't they clump them? I don't think they clump them. I don't on think Hulu. they clump them. Oh. I think they might. I think oh, they give no. us like two. I think they give us like two right now. Then we got to go week to week. Oh, I think that's right. I need I my handmaids right. in a clump. No, I like them clumpy too, but. Well, they're not going to give them to you. That see, way. I didn't know that because I've just I caught up. I, they were all out there before I yeah, exactly. Golly, that's a tease. Still that's though, woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we what you, we used to have before Biggie's time here. We had a couple of really religious people that worked here. Terrific, and uh, if that's your thing, <laughs> <laughs> if you're down on that, <laughs> these they, they were very religious. Very religious. Yeah. And uh, one time I was just. Sitting in, I was in, not in my office. Were we downstairs? I think at so. At the time? Yeah, maybe we were in, in a different office. And one walked by, I'll get this a little bit wrong, but one was like, uh, Easter Sunday. And the other one said, He has risen. Woo! And high fives. <laughs> I was like, All right. This was the office across from ours. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's how you right. celebrate Easter. No, they sure did, man. They were on. Yeah. Woo! Yes. Not since Until that. he's nibbling on a chocolate bat rabbit ear. <laughs> <laughs> it was the day after Easter. Yeah. And they were like. Not the reason, bro. Easter. <laughs> he is risen. risen. Woo! And they high-fived. And I was like, yeah. And I want. So then, of course, I'm like, yeah. Let's get in on it. You know. So, Dave, uh, now we're Handmaid's Tale. That's all right. All these many years later. That's we're exactly. maiden up. That's exactly how I feel. Absolutely. You know, we take our little communities where we can find them. Ex- Thank you. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's right. And I'm insi- this is TV related as well. I'm insisting now that Biggie watch Succession, which I just finished the second season of this week. I'm going to have to insist that he watch it. It is. Re- it right. really gets better. Why Biggie? Um, I think he really will appreciate it. It's about money, a ton of money, and bad things bad people do to each other for money. And it's really right up your alley. I, Man, that says a lot about me as a person. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I would Biggie like this show. It's about money and bad people doing bad things to each other. That, it's true. It's really, really well done. And uh, I went into it going, like, okay, whatever. But now I'm through two seasons, and it's fantastic. It's on HBO Max, which I know you have. I have, yeah. And I, it starts a little slowly. Like, first couple you get into. But by the, now I've seen 20 episodes, all there are. And it's fantastic. Okay. It's really good. So I'm going to have to insist. All right. See now, the others, I don't think. Chris Tim's not into money. He's not driven by money. The no, way we tried. Are. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're driven by money. That's what we do. Dr. D is talking about Nomad Land, which won for Best Picture last night. Dr. D, go ahead. Yeah, hey. So I saw the movie this past weekend, and it was pretty dry. Yeah. Uh, I would say it was baseline sad from beginning to end. And that sadness was punctuated by really sad parts about three or four times. Okay. So if you want to see a sad movie, mm-hmm. that's your movie. Has it, it sounds a tad bleak. D- did you think it deserved, it when you watch it, do you think best picture when you see it? No. Okay. It, maybe it was a bad, I think it was a bad year for that to win bad picture yeah. or best picture. You know, uh, I just read a list. I have it planned for later as our salute to Oscar concludes today. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. I don't even D. know if I don't know if Oscar deserves a salute this year. <laughs> Maybe a, Thanks, Dr. D. a tip of the hat. Um, mm-hmm. uh, it was, it's the worst Best Picture winners of the last twenty years, and the one I, the one that got worst I really liked, but it does get panned from. Oh, it, really? Yeah, but I really enjoyed it, and I saw it. Um, I always hear Terms of Endearment always is listed as one of the worst Best Picture winners oh, yeah? of all time. But you know, our Mark Berger, who used to do movie reviews for us, said it was 
It's just it tugs on your the sappy sappy. It's sappy and you know plays on your emotions. What does that mean? Worst best picture. I mean, how do, who decides that? These are like movie critics, that, and I think it it may be. I think it's the passage of time too, right? Yes, and then you look back on it and think, oh, it's not as good. Chicago, I always hear, is not a very good best picture. Right? I always like Chicago. I did too. It was a fun movie. I, I thought it was really good, but they say it's. You know, Chicago, he always told me our it's movie. It's a dated was, musical, but I thought mm-hmm. it was well done. Mm-hmm. Chicago and uh, Terms of Endearment. But these are just the last 20 years, which Chicago would be in that group. It's not that, but it's the movie that I really enjoy. Now, Dave, Frances McDormand, after the movie, won Best Picture last night. And she also won Best Actress. She should have won Best Actress. Oh, well, I mean, from the movies that I saw, which weren't many. And she's in rare company now because she's got three Best Actress winners. Fargo, three billboards, and now this. Oh, wow, yeah. I mean, Meryl Streep probably has roughly the same, I would think. You know, right I don't in, know. It's, three is a pretty big number. She did deserve that, I thought. You uh, did. Much more than the rest. And this, I, think, I don't know if it won cinematography, but it's beautifully shot. See if you understand this. At the end of... Of her acceptance speech, she does something a little bit odd. Please watch our movie on the largest screen possible, and one day, very, very soon, take everyone you know into a theater, shoulder to shoulder, in that dark space, and watch every film that's represented here tonight. We give this one to our wolf. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Is there a wolf reference in the movie? Yeah, I think at the end of the movie she does howl like a wolf. Oh, she um, does. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, they're out in the in the in the the west, out mm-hmm. west, the southwest. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's outside a lot. I mean, they're in their vehicles. Mm-hmm. They live in their vehicles. Okay. Uh, they're nomads. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And, so and, yeah, that that plays a little part into and, it. And but does but minor. She, does she have explosive diarrhea in a bucket? She does. <laughs> I can't so that, confirm. That you can verify. The how you're not as you're fifty fifty. Yeah, she was sitting in her. Uh, I think she was in a van, and she's. You can hear her stomach grumbling, mm. and she she reaches for the bucket and moves. That's that it. cinematography and that sound. That's the sound you want. That's the, the best, technical award. And now for the scene for best sound. <laughs> uh oh. Where's Mama's bucket? Give me the bucket. But it's a very mundane movie. Well, I, uh, I agree. Some are saying explosive diarrhea from Francis McDormand into a bucket is not great cinema. <laughs> I know great cinema, and that's not great cinema. Let me give you my moral, t- two moral dilemmas over the I think I failed them both. Okay, I had two kind no of shocker, a, but yeah, I, I, I know. I knew you would say that. The first was now on Friday, and I think I mentioned this on the way out of here. I said, by God, I'm going to be good to me today. For the first time in a long time, I'm going to be good to me. You did say that. Remember yeah, that? he did. <laughs> Bit of a sea change. <laughs> yeah. I said, I deserve something. I've been everywhere, but I've never been to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. I'm treating me. <laughs> I said, I'm treating me today, by God. But did the, um, the cascade of warm Krispy Kreme donuts begin? I forgot about those. Yeah, we had those. Uh, From an incredibly generous listener. A P1 brought by Donuts on Friday, and I had a few. The, the chicken and pickle waft over of, of the feeling of it that you, you needed are. it later. There you are. Well, I know what makes you happy during the weekday. It does. And I said, you know, it's Friday, and very soon here I'm going to have to get down to business on this 1,000-pound, 1,000 $1,000 weight loss challenge. Real soon. Okay, it's about that time. I mean, it's second quarter. We're, we're getting halfway through the second quarter now. We're It's time to get started on that. Now, I've got... I've got draft and I've got Handmaid's Tale this week, so I'm going to be eating. Sure. Okay. But, because I like to lay in a good, like a barbecue for a Handmaid's Tale or something, or wings. Yeah. So I go to Chicken and Pickles. I said, by God, I'm just going to do it. So I stop in there. Did you order on the app? Yes. Now, here's the here's where it gets, here's where the moral dilemma comes in. I ordered on the app, and uh, what you do there is you type in your order, of course, and then you sit and wait for it out. For them to bring it to you. And I got my usual, I put Chris's lunch. That's it. All right. Okay. So <laughs> Chris's lunch is a uh, Chick-fil-A sandwich, 12-piece chicken nugget. 12. I'm treating myself. <laughs> yes. Treat yourself, Dave. Chris sorry. Dave. I'm sorry. I used Come to be on. eight. That's all right. It used eight. to be eight. That's, that's Chris's old lunch. This is Chris's <laughs> new lunch. So it's chicken sandwich, 12-piece nugget. Double Polynesian. Double Polynesian. Diet Coke. Mm. All right. Diet Coke? I went, oh, yeah, I did it. I Not did a it. bottle of water. No. He's treating himself. I'm treating myself. Diet Coke. And it's only $11. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sitting Bargain. There. Right. So I sit there. I see the guy coming. He's got two bags in his hand. He's, I roll down the window. He says, Chris. I say, yes. He hands me the bag. I say, okay. I put it in the seat. I turn to it, and he walks away. And in the bag, I see like five sandwiches, several chicken nuggets, four or five orders of fries, he had handed me the Diet Coke. I put it in the cup holder, 
And I just looked. I mean, it, this is a huge bag. And I was like, score. I mean. I, <laughs> <laughs> That's your first thought? I, uh, yeah. I see your dilemma. <laughs> God is good. <laughs> Through the top of the bag, I can see it. <laughs> now. Help, can you help me out here a little bit? I've never ordered like this through the app at this restaurant. Mm. Do they write your name on the bag? Is there a receipt with your name stapled to the bag? It's, it's, it's taped on the bag. It's like a, the, the receipt is sticky and goes on the bag. Okay. But I didn't even pay attention to that. He just hand, when he first handed it to me, I was like, okay, fine, and got it and put it in the seat. But it, as he walked away, I looked at it and went, oh, man. That's quite a stuffed bag. Big, yeah. Bigger bag than I usually get. And so I started eating the fries. It's from the 8 to 12 nuggets, you get a bigger uh, okay, bag. Okay, before... <laughs> Before I pulled out, which is time, they won't let you eat in the space. I have to go to. Um, <sighs> no, what is this, Russia? <laughs> <laughs> I pay <Sir>. taxes. <laughs> Sir, can you Sometimes go? <laughs> I got to drive over to Kinko's to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you go sit in the Kinko's with the rest? <laughs> <laughs> That's why Kinko's always looks busy. Right. <laughs> people eat. They always do. <laughs> like, who's making copies? Nobody. Two in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> who's faxing? <laughs> So I start shoving fries into my mouth. I mean, I'm eating a two or three. I'm like, I'm perfect. I'll get out. <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> what I, a day. As I put it in reverse, the guy has turned around and he's waving at me and coming toward me. <laughs> the employee? Oh, mm -hmm, yeah, the same guy with a smaller bag in his hand. Oh, no. And I'm chewing. And uh, he gets over there and I roll down the window. Oh. And he's... <laughs> Sir. <laughs> sir, he said, did you take that bag? And I said, mm-hmm. And he said, are you Kristen? And I said, no, I'm Chris. And oh, goes, Kristen. And he said, I said, are you Kristen? And you said, yes. And I said, oh, I thought you said, are you Chris? <laughs> I can't hear when there's bags near me. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. Well, I mean, it's an odd... So uh, they're similar sounds. Similar, right. In fairness, right? So and engines running. So he hands me the little bag and my little diet coke, and I've got this enormous bag to give back to him. And he said, "You didn't eat the fries, did you?" <laughs> oh, no. oh no! As soon as you're out of earshot, as soon as you turned around, I had fries. Because old Kristen is like, you know, she's two or three cars <laughs> down, and I've had my paws in her fries, and I've yeah. eaten two or three fries, and it's COVID time. I mean, yeah, know, wow, yeah, you know. So I said, I said to him, I had two fries. Well, really, I had like five, but I said I had two fries, and he said. We're going to have to remake this order. And I said, yeah. oh, I didn't know. Okay, well, see ya. I didn't yeah. realize. Yeah. But, you know, he looked at me. It's the first time I've ever gotten a look of disdain. I don't think that's... Uh... Uh -uh. I would have been, if I was Kristen, yeah. I would have been mad yes. if they had tried to hand me yes. the bag that had been in somebody else's Inside your car. That right. would yeah. not have worked. They yeah. had, they, he was... I would... That kid would have been, I would have looked at that kid like yeah. he was crazy and been like, you, That's right. you're, you're not. You can't ask for that. You don't yeah. take it out of someone else's car. And then no, I don't no. think you can either. Correct. But I did. the only thing that was exposed to my paws were the fries. Doesn't sure. matter. But either way, it's still yeah. been in your car, yep. especially that car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was afraid Kristen might see me. Could you drive. imagine yeah. if Kristen was watching and saw that whole box and that whole bag come out of your car and go straight, go straight to, her. to hers? Oh, yeah. She'd scream. In her Audi. I know. It, it was a really nice yeah. It was a nice car. I'm sure it was a nice SUV. Yeah, it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I had to hand him the, the, the hand back of shame, and then he gave me my little bag. So what are they going to do with the bag? Yeah, I was going to say, I would have been like, you I should have said, man, keep, keep it. it. Well, maybe they should have. That's right. He, I saw him going back into the restaurant with the bag. So I wonder if they mm, changed all of handled it Handled poorly by yeah. their by them, if that's you ask me. That's what I thought. I, that's what I thought. Now, <laughs> yes, moral dilemma maybe should have been. But mm. see, to me, again, you did. I would have done the same thing, though. I would have taken it, mm -hmm. sat it next to me, not thought about it at first. Yes. And started to leave. But once I, I mean, I did know it wasn't mine. I was like, this is, and I said. When you open the bag before you had put your hand inside the sack, you knew it was not your No order. question. There was so it much doesn't matter. Stuff. The point is, even if you'd have yelled at him as he was walking away and, mm -hmm. and didn't put your paw near it, yeah, still been in your hand in and in your car. Yeah. No, nobody it's wants gone, it back. It's gone to the forbidden zone. There's no yeah. doubt. Yeah. That's, that's but, on but failed. <laughs> well, that, that's yeah, true. I, I mean, more. I, I mean, in his mind, he should have. I failed because I, I ate the fries knowing, like Biggie said. I said, "God is good," and he just gave me, you know, he just gave me a little mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Well, he took it right back. He, he, oh, he, right away. Yeah, he knew. Strange. I would. Yeah. I would bet they go. They took that bag back in, repackaged. They got new fries, but they repackaged everything. That else. ain't cool, man. Maybe. No, but, I, without a doubt, I know they did. But the chicken sandwiches were never in 
I mean, that might, I, can, I never yeah. touched them. Or they're just wrapped in foil. They're wrapped in foil and everything. Yeah, but still, something about being in somebody else's, the whole you don't thing. Like I know. No, being in somebody else's car, I would have never served He that. should have never taken that back. I should have had, I should have. I should have gotten all those. Should have been your mistake to. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. He should have looked at you and judged you, yeah. but then let you keep it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Giving you a side eye, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I guess. Well, he's mm-hmm. what he said was, "It's my pleasure." <laughs> Drive off, sir. Yeah. yeah, that's right. He said to me, "You said your name was Kristen." I said, "No, I did not." I said, "I thought you said Chris." And he said, "I said Kristen." And we we got we you know a little sniping right there. I thought this is an unpleasant experience. First, very unchristian like. I was very surprised mm-hmm. that it happened that way. You know, very. And then the other. This is a little bit of a dilemma, too. I think I was okay with you. Tell me if this is wrong, all right? Mm. I'm at Walmart. Okay. That's wrong. <laughs> this was on Saturday. Had to do my uh, grocery shopping. Okay. And so I, this is a big three-store day? Uh, two stores. Okay. Went to two stores. Uh, you know, I like to shop local, so I went to the local Walmart. Right. <laughs> and uh, what I did, I think I was right. You tell me in a moment. Krista, you're telling me about the uh, guy at Chicken and Pickles who took my big bag back. Go ahead. Yeah, first off, it's partially his fault. You have to put what kind of car you're in, and clearly she did not have the same kind of car as you. You asked. Good point. Good point. And my app usually asks. But it did. Nothing matches that. that. Nothing matches that. <laughs> Very good point. That, I hadn't thought about that, Chris. From an Audi SUV to to a, whatever that is. That's a, drive. a dirty, dingy white <laughs> 1998 Acura. You're right about that. Thank you, Krista. Yeah, and having a name that starts with Chris. Yeah. They're all very interchangeable and mistakable. <laughs> exactly. I felt like it's true. I agree. Thank you, Krista. I appreciate I can't it. they took it back. She knows, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know what they did with it once, though, but he just, I saw him grab it. I think it he's right. They, they repackaged it. it. Yeah, probably so. I wouldn't. And they're very, very busy. You know, it was lunchtime on a Friday. It was really, mm-hmm. it was crowded. Worst time to go. I'm oh, sh- I bet he went back and saw that bag. It was like, you're never going to believe this. <laughs> This guy. You know what that, look at that beat up old car. You know what he just did? <laughs> <laughs> They're pointing at me. Of course he would, he, of course he would. Now, tell yeah. me at Walmart the next day, similar dilemma. Uh, I think I failed this one too, but you tell me. I, uh, it was the self checkout, and that's all that was open. Nothing, there was no, nobody was even working a checkout line. It was all self checkout, and it was also busy. So I'd waited in line for a while. And as I'm ringing up my items, I bought a family sized Nutter Butter. Okay. These are the oh. peanut butter cookies. And I scanned it, and I didn't think it scanned, so I scanned it again. Well, boop, boop, it popped up twice. All right, so now I've, I've only got oh. one. Okay, so I've overpaid for Nutter Butters. But in the past, when I've done this to get them to take it off the screen, usually takes forever. You have to wait, raise your hand. They've got to come over. And it was so busy, I thought, I just don't want to waste my time with this. I was really, I was ready to get out of there, you know, and it was really crowded. So I bought, I had two Nutter Butters paid for. The next thing I had was cream cheese, and I had two of those. Well, I rang up the cream cheese. It was two forty nine. <laughs> I was like, "Well, I'll just keep the other cream cheese." <laughs> just slide that over. Slide no, it. that's Scan not free. Way. And now I'm a dollar fifty short still. Now it's three seventy nine for the nutter butters, two forty nine for the uh, cream cheese. So I'm a dollar thirty short. Well, I had a little thing of uh, tomato paste, <laughs> seventy two cents. Like I'll just keep that tomato. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I stopped. That's on the house. So I gave them an extra seventy cents. But I didn't do it the right way. You know, I, I overpaid. I paid more than I should have paid, mm-hmm. but I didn't bring them over to correct the error. Yeah. I just did That's it. the downfall of, this, of the self-checkout is, right. is messing something up and having to get help. But I was mm-hmm. on the losing end, you know. It right, it, yeah, eventually. If I, if I had had it's going to mess up their inventory. It is. It's going to mess yeah, up their when inventory. Yeah, when the stock market Cause opens next, <laughs> haywire. Because they're going to think they've got one more Nutter Butter than they do. There's been a run on Nutter Butters. No, uh We only sold one. <laughs> but two are gone. There's nothing left on the shelf. There should be one there. <laughs> Someone's stealing cream cheese. In Kelly's mouth. I did. I took the cream cheese to make and the tomato paste, and the tomato paste. to make up for mm-hmm. one nutter butter cost. Mm-hmm. But I did. I'd like to hear you explain this in cuffs. 